So the next thing we're going to look at is this idea of summation notation. So you've seen this before, okay? It's the Greek E, okay? It is sigma. You'll see it on frat and sorority houses in any college town you're in. So we always start down here from some k equals 1 or k equals 5, k equals negative 2, wherever. There's our starting point. This appears our ending point. So if you saw something like this and it said 5 to 15, you're literally summing the individual terms when you plug a 5 in, when you plug a 6 in, 7, all the way up to 15. Then you're adding all of those together. This here is what the equation is going to be. So are you summing, you know, 2 to the n? Or are you summing 2, well, you know, 2n plus 2? Or are you summing all the squares? Are you summing some fraction or whatnot? Okay. So uh, here's the fancy math thing for it. We use the dot, dot, dot for all the stuff in the middle. We stop at whatever the k would be. Here's where you'd see it. So here's the formula. So it's asking us to find the sub from, from the sum from k1 to 3, so only three terms, that's not bad, of this. So all you have to do when k is a 1, well, go plug a 1 in. So when k is a 2, And when k is a 3. Okay, we do all the math there. And here's what we got. You want to take the result of those three there, add them all together for a sum of 8. So the summation notation lets us write you know, one expression for however many we could do. So we could easily change this to 30, and you would literally have to do this 30 times and then add them all up. Okay, so we're going to keep those guys kind of small in there. So this is kind of a famous problem uh, here. How do you sum all the numbers 1 to 100 or 1 to 1,000 or 1 to 10,000? You certainly don't want to sit there in a calculator and just plus 5, plus 6, plus 7. So I linked here to a YouTube thing on... Um, Gauss. I'd like you guys to check out. It's real short. It's only a couple minutes. It explains the whole story. The problem was given to him as a punishment for acting out in school, but because he's Gauss and he's so smart, he was able to come up with that formula, you know, very quickly. Okay, so kind of funny what uh, spurs people to be able to come up with famous mathematical things. So all we'd have to do if we want to sum the numbers one to a hundred. You want to write it in your summation notation. We're going k up to 100 of just an n. So you literally just have to throw 100 in here, multiply it by 101, cut it in half. That'll give you 50, and then you can you know multiply that out. So that's a good extra credit question there is to prove um, why that formula works. So I would encourage you to check out that Gauss video there. Some of these patterns or sequences you're going to see, you're going to have to create equations for them. So there's no real things I can tell you what to do other than try a bunch of different stuff. Okay? So you can try n's. You can try n plus 1's. You, know, you can try 2 to the n. So let's say you saw this. and they ask you to come up with an equation for it. You would look at it and you would put term numbers above it and you would say, oh, well, three, or I'm sorry, two to the third is eight, two to the fourth equals 16. So this guy's two n plus one. Uh, let's say you had another one that was two, three, you know, something like this. You would look at them and say, okay, well, here are the term numbers. It's linear, obviously. My slope's 1 every time, so it's kind of a 1n, 
and then how much do I need to adjust? Okay, so the third term should be three times one, add one gets you to four. Okay, and different things like that. Um, so we'll look at some of those in class to help you guys get started with, um, with those. Okay, I'm actually going to pause this guy here and take us over to part three, just so it's separate from the rest of the sequence stuff. Uh, this is obviously something that will affect you guys soon, if it's not already. Uh, we're going to look at mortgage problems, uh, loan problems, and different things like that. Okay, so we're going to take this uh, over to a short uh, part three and talk about these.